On July 20th of 1969, the United States launched Apollo 11 uh, towards the moon. Uh, there had been uh, a number of preparatory uh, launches to that, uh, one quite tragic, Apollo 1, in which there was a fire which killed all three astronauts. But um, uh, by 1969, uh, we were ready to land on the moon. This is the little parking pass you would have got if you wanted to watch the thing take off. The crew became uh, pretty well known. Uh, this is a crew sign shot by uh, Neil Armstrong, uh, Buzz Aldrin, and Michael Collins. Uh, each uh, signed their name on that prior to uh, being launched. Uh, this is uh, an actual flag that was taken, United States flag that was taken to the surface of uh, the moon by the LAM uh, when uh, Neil Armstrong and uh, uh, Buzz Aldrin landed. One of the interesting things about this is that, uh, and I'm going to show some photos later of the astronauts on the moon. There have been 12 astronauts that have walked on the moon, all American astronauts, uh, from uh, Neil Armstrong to uh, Gene Cernan. It was during this first uh, moon, moon uh, landing at Tranquility Base in July of uh, 1969 that photos were taking, taken. First of all, we all got to see the uh, television footage of Neil setting his uh, foot down on the moon, the first human to, to do that. And he said, uh, that's one small step for a man, one giant leap for mankind. That got revised, <laughs> but, uh, but that was a statement. And we saw that. Other than that footage, we don't have many photos that include uh, Neil Armstrong on the moon, and that's because Buzz, who was taking the photos of Neil, left his uh, film can on the moon. And it was a mistake, but uh, all of the photos we have on the moon, uh, except for the one with uh, one or two that uh, have Neil in his visor, were taken by Neil of Buzz. <laughs> and it became a little bit of friction between the two of those guys uh, over the years, because Neil was asked to sign a lot of photographs, and uh, for a while he would only sign the photograph of, of him uh, straight on shot of Buzz where he's in the reflection moon suit, uh, and uh, after a while he refused to even sign that. He would uh, just sign uh, pre-flight uh, uh, photographs. Uh, it's a little tidbit that a lot of people don't know, and one of the questions that's been asked since by scientists and others uh, is, it, would it be worth our time and money to go up there and to pick up uh, the moon can that uh, the Buzz left that has all the photos of uh, Neil? and uh, the, they would be worth thousands of dollars, I'm sure. Um, and I guess when it becomes profitable to do that, some scientists have indicated that the film should still be good because there's no atmosphere on the moon. When I was in scouting, uh, well, I guess I'm still in scouting. I had, uh, was an Eagle Scout. I um, uh, was an outstanding Eagle Scout years later, and then I have uh, a Silver Beaver. And uh, all seven of my sons are, are Eagle Scouts. I count the one we lost because I think he got the equivalent. Uh, and the point is that uh, we're a scouting family at a scout uh, museum here in town. I always used to tell the scouts if they were out and about and they didn't have a flag and they needed to do a flag ceremony, just find the moon. We got six of them up there. And, uh, and so that would uh, kind of short circuit the problem. Uh, I should say that uh, the only one that's not standing, they've shown us standing in several movies, <laughs> is the first one. Doris Black, uh, an elderly nice lady, made that flag by hand. Got her signature on a photo of her holding it before they took off. And when, they, uh, when Neil and Buzz took off from the moon, uh, they blew that one down on the ground. And we don't talk about that either, because that uh, doesn't look good on a film. But, uh, uh, but that is probably the only one of the six that would have uh, at least the American flag on one side of it. Uh, all the others can still be seen. Uh, from Earth with uh, big, uh, uh, you know, uh, cameras and so on that we have that can do that, telescopes. Uh, and the, uh, the uh, flag colors are long gone. They're just white. Uh, but uh, probably that first one, if you were to raise it up, still has the flag on the other side.